Hi everyone, welcome to my solo. This is Cecilia. So there was a viewer who commented under one of our videos that all of us seem to have very outgoing, extroverted personalities, and it seems like this is the way to enjoy America, succeed here as a Chinese student. So today I'm gonna try my best to answer this question. All of the things I'm gonna talk about is based on my personal experiences, and they are my opinions. So I am more than happy to discuss with you under the comment section, and uh, let's have a civil discussion. Trolls are not welcome. So the question is, do you have to be a very extroverted Chinese student in order to succeed in American University, Kansas, society? And so I want to break this down into smaller parts to answer the bigger question. I think it's not just about China versus America. America. It's more like extroverts versus introverts. So let's start from the first part. Are introverts anti-social? The past? Everything that's just not cool with it? This is a very wrong perception about introverted people. I consider myself 40% introvert and 60% extrovert. Introversion is not symbol of antisocial depression because introverts are just people who don't think social interaction or attention are the most desirable thing in the world. They don't proactively seek those elements. And also we all know a lot of people who are introverts, but they are great people, they're nice, they are they are caring. And when we ask the question the other way around it, are extroverts necessarily better? Superior, happier. I'm sure that a lot of you would agree with me that no, they're not absolutely better. To someone who is very outgoing, very gregarious, could be violent, could be angry. Another thing is there's no such thing as a 100% extrovert or 100% introvert. Everybody has extroverted side and introverted side. And the next part is are Chinese people introverts? That's just not a good question. Obviously there are very extroverted Chinese and there are very introverted Chinese and you ask this question the other way around. Obviously they are very extroverted Americans but there are also plenty of introverted Americans. And then the next part we want to compare. So are American people more extroverted than Chinese people? People and culture ha are two different concepts in my opinion. The actual people we meet like me, like you who are watching this video we may be somewhere along the line with the, our cultural norms, maybe we're completely different from the norms. So cultural norms are kind of assumptions about how people should act, talk, feel. Cultural norms is something that's very tricky because it helps people to subject certain assumptions about another group. Let's move on to the people. If someone asks you, Does an average American uh, act more extrovertly than an average Chinese? My answer is I don't want to answer this question because I don't know such a person as an average American or average Chinese. Theoretically, average mean exists, but in practical uh, world, I've never encountered someone who is the absolute average. Every one of us is very unique. All of us have something that is extremely off the chart, not average. Someone who asks this question if a Chinese student has to be extroverted to succeed in America, then I think the underlying assumption is this American society favors extroversion. My answer to this question is no. I don't think extroversion is the necessary factor to succeed. We see people who are introverts, but are also very successful. But the thing is, we see more extroverts out there precisely because the difference between extroverts and introverts is that extroverts tend to draw attention to themselves. They're more okay with being outspoken, speaking about themselves. And I don't think this is a thing unique to America. I think all society may have given extroverts more attention than they deserve, or we have just haven't given introverts the attention they deserve. The question should be, does introverts get overlooked? I think yes, but my personal experience told me that it's a little more so here in America. Um, there's a study done on uh, Chinese culture and European American culture. Uh, people from European and American cultures report that it is important to experience emotions such as happiness and excitement, whereas Chinese report that it is more important to be stable and calm. Being an introvert who is quiet, soft-spoken, is more okay in China than in America. Turning down parties, turning down social invitations is more looked down a point here than I was in China. The second part of this study says that 
because Americans may feel they are not happy or excited, but that they are supposed to be. This may increase their depression. So I agree to this hypothesis because、uh, if you think you are supposed to feel one way, but you actually don't feel it, then you feel frustrated, right? Because you feel what you feel. So let's go back to the key question. You have to be very extroverted、uh, to train students to succeed in America. Yes and no. Being an extrovert does not guarantee success or happiness either place. Being an introvert sucks more here in America than in China. The no to this question is: I don't think you need to be someone else to succeed or be happy. Because if you force yourself to change. A personality, which、uh, supposedly you can't change your personality. I doubt you will feel very good about it. Lastly, I just want to say, like life is full of dilemma like this. Whether you go out of your comfort zone or you stay with yourself, to me, it's been a trial and error. You just have to do it. And if you found that to be devastating, try something else. But if you found that to be rewarding, you must be doing something right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this answers the question of some Chinese students or. Any other people who feel the pressure to act like an extrovert, our world needs introverts. If we don't discriminate others for their color, their race, their ethnicity, their language, why should we discriminate against introversion? Thank you so much. Bye bye.